defendant made any statements admitting knowledge of the gun or possession of the gun? He did not, Judge. Did the car register back to the defendant? The car was not the defendant's, Judge. The defendant was allegedly covering his waistband to make, leaning over to cover his waistband, but the gun was not recovered from his waistband. The gun was recovered from a secret compartment, for lack of a better term. Judge, I I would um say to the court that it was in the uh, report that the area that it was recovered in was loose and open. It doesn't sound like you could see the pistol from the driver's seat without it being. Sounds like it was actually in the compartment that you had to remove to see the weapon, right? Oh. It says during the search, he observed a panel near the passenger side of the gear shift was loose and partially dislodged. Based on my training and experience, this to be a common place to hide firearms and narcotics. I could easily fit my hand into the panel and immediately felt an object I knew to be consistent with a firearm magazine and handle. All right. In regards to the detention for the defendant, there was a finding of no probable cause of the Gerstein case to be continued in for a future date. You want to give it a regular date for a preliminary hearing? Uh, Judge, if I could have one moment, sure. please. So if we could have a one-week day, please. Why would you not just take a regular day? to What you want to do with them right now? Judge, I think um, if we are going to move forward on this, we'll do the preliminary hearing in a week. Motion state. 1213. 22 at 130. Mr. Kovacs, the meeting, DDT? Yes, Your Honor, DDT. Mr. Sandy, based on the evidence that was presented by the prosecution today in the proffer, I do not believe there's sufficient evidence to detain you. So there's a finding of no probable cause of reversing. What that translates to is that you're going to be released from custody. Oh. Yeah.